Disclaimer. The views and opinions expressed in this episode are those of the GOAT, or the greatest of all Titos, and do not necessarily reflect the views or positions of all Titos or uncles around the world. Possibly a few, but definitely not all. So today the family decided to go watch a movie. Um, unfortunately, the one movie that we haven't watched yet that we regret not being able to catch it sooner was Indiana Jones. But my nephew um, really wanted to watch Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 again. So we did. Uh, however, my sister and her husband did not want... They are not the type of people who would watch a movie again just for the sake. So they decided that they wanted to watch Oppenheimer. Unfortunately, it's R16, so the two youngest nephews can't watch it. Um, so we decided to, to, to watch two movies. Anyway, my sister and her husband watching Oppenheimer, while the rest of us would watch Mission Impossible, which I don't mind, honestly, because I like the movie. So the idea is to look for a time slot where both groups would be able to watch it at the same time. And we agreed to watch in Alabang Town Center. And it's interesting because the last time I've been into the theater of Alabang Town Center was at least 16 years ago. Um, and a lot has changed. I don't know if it's an, if it's an Ayala Mall thing. But... A lot of stores have closed, especially in the cinema area. Um, a little history lesson. Before it, before the Ayalas took over that, that side of the malls, it was called, it was named Alabang Twin Cinema. Back in the 80s, it was named Alabang Twin Cinema. And obviously, because of the name, it was just two uh, movie theaters. Mind you, back in the 80s, movies weren't like now, wherein there's like a time slot that people would need to follow. Yeah, people follow the time slot if they could, but back then, movie theaters, or at least the ones managing it, would allow people to get, to get in the movie, in the middle of the movie, and just stay for the next showing and just leave the part that they joined in. So essentially, back then, you could actually watch a movie for as many times as you want, as long as you just don't leave. There wasn't any guaranteed seating back then. So if there is like a hit movie, you you be sure that people would be sitting down the floor, on the aisle, standing up at the back, basically siksikan talaga. Good thing times have changed, now you buy it's a guaranteed seating, then you buy a, per a particular slot. So you get to watch it from start to finish, ng buo, ng maayos. Anyway, going back. So, somewhere in the 90s, that was when the Ayalas started buying plots of land, buying certain areas, and slowly developing their malls, their Ayala malls. Um, it started with the Glorieta, area in Makati and then in Alabang and because Alabang Twin Cinema was so um, the, 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 the acronym was so famous Ayala decided to keep it and they kept it they called it ATC but this time they called it Alabang Town Center so after Twin Cinema uh, ATC they, they decided to add more theaters and they essentially made it into like a five door cinema so they're like cinemas one to five i i i this i distinctly remember that and then um as part of my church's history city gate there was a short period wherein we would rent i remember cinema five in the morning, because sarado pa naman si Nena ganong oras, we would rent it in the morning and use it as a church, as our church. Um, so, yeah, so, so, yeah, fast forward to today. I thought there were still five cinemas. To my surprise, 
there was out of the five cinemas, tatlo na lang yung operational. Uh, what used to be Cinema 5 is now permanently rented out to a church, as I was told. I forgot what church that was. And as I was like looking after the movie, we were just like seated around them the cinema area, just waiting for my my sister and her husband to come out. Cause uh, Oppenheimer is a three-hour movie, while Mission Impossible was like a two hours and forty-five minutes. So as I was seated in the corner, just looking around, I realized the ticket booth where you would buy the tickets now used to be where Cinema Four was. So now I was counting. Town Center only now only has three operating cinemas. Mind blow. But it's kind of sad to be completely honest. Uh, feeling go like the old cinemas ng Ayala. They're not taking care of it that much anymore. Greenbelt 3 is not as luxurious as it used to be. Um, yeah, the Greenbelt 3 already has like 4 DX and stuff like that. But when you go into the mall, you could you could you could see its age. Uh, Greenbelt 3, kita kita dun sa banyo nila sa tiles into the going to the cinema area, and also now with Town Center. Cinema One is still exactly as how I remember it the last time I went there. So parang hindi niya tayo naalagaan. Nilinis na lang, I think. So sad. Around the area, like in the Labang. Well, first of all, see, let's go first to Green. Marami. There's BGC. And dami na magadal sinian sa BGC. Um, a lot of the people are in or around uh, BGC also. So it's not a surprise that not a lot of people are going to Greenbelt anymore. And same goes for Town Center. Kasi nga may Evia, may Damhari. Um, then SM is starting to grow. Na may SM South Mall, may SMBF, and SM Sukat. Na may mga sinihan din na maayos. So, ayala, yeah, what's happening? Well, yun ang rant ko for today. Bye bye.